All right, let's continue where we left off. Yeah, I'm in my socks today. I'm on the floor. Deal with it. Okay, we got those two dispersion straps. Everything's undone. Let's get into the main body of the pack. Now. Excuse me. Plus, you also have this big area right here in the middle, too, if you want to stick a quick tarp in there or something, which I don't have with me right now, but I have a couple tarps I would stick in there only for shelter. Alright, main body of the pack. Here we go. As you can see I got a lot of shit in here. Let's start off with the back part of the pack. Insect repellent, SPF, whatever, as well. Another little thing with insect repellent, this is the uh, DEET free one, so in case you're, it's like a little sad. Game cleaning kit, has some gloves and a little smock. Also could be used in the first aid situation if you really had to. Duct tape, two rolls of duct tape. Little, little sewing kit, it's got a different type of threads and a needle and um, scissors and bobby pins and buttons. Water, pur water purification tablets, this is the PA Plus and also the Aquas, Portal Aquas. Uh, and also a filter straw. This is a this is a basic filter straw with just a carbon filter on there, so you can filter water. Basically, you pop off the top, unscrew the bottom, stick it to a water source, and you suck, and it comes up through a carbon filter. This is just in case you know one extra step. This goes to my Canadine Vario water filtration set. This is an extra carbon pack. This is two extra ceramic filters for the Canadine Vario filter. <clears throat> the ceramic filters would probably be the first thing you for your is your first line of defense when it comes to filtration. And we're gonna go through those the quickest. Little stove. You open this stove up, it's a cheap stove, 10 bucks, can't beat it, and it comes with a piezo ignition, so you don't need any external source to, to ignite this and cause a fire. I don't have the cans of fuel that comes with this in my pack right now, I have it downstairs, uh, stored away separate from my pack, but they are right next to my pack. But yeah, little pokeable, little foldable pocket, little foldable pocket stove. With the piezo ignition, so you don't need a light or anything to light this. And it's so compact and it stores away so easily. So, yeah. Portable isobutane fuel stove. Like I said, I do have the fuel canisters. They're just not in my pack right now. I don't keep them in my pack just in case they ever get punctured or ruptured. My whole pack's not contaminated. So that's one cooking utensil. Uh, and that should be, I have a little Esbet stove. This is the Esbet stove pack. It's got six uh, gel cubes in there. The gel cubes are, are used for um, for fuel. They run about 10 minutes before they, die, before they die out. Look up Esbet stove if you don't know how to use it. This is a bunch of fuel packs with an Esbet stove in the back. I got two stoves. Fire starting material. This is a lighter slash flashlight plus book of matches plus another uh, uh, little orange container right there of uh, waterproof matches plus a magnesium rod, uh, ma uh, fire rod. Fire rod with magnesium, you know what I'm talking about. It's got the striker on there as well with a little pink paracord for high vis. So yeah, multiple sources of fire starting in the garden.
some nine hour candles. They can help with heat, they can help with light, whatever. That's just on the back side of that. Now let's get to the main parts of the bag here. I'll try to keep all this in frame for you. Guide to Edible Wild, wild Edibles. Good, pet, uh, good book to have. It's a little thick, but it's got a lot of good real life photos in here. So if you need to ever, and it also tells you the, the, the danger plants not to eat, and also the good plants. It's got uh, wild uh, everything in here. I don't want to go into detail about it because it took too long, but yeah, it's a good book. Keep this inside your pack. Well, I keep it inside my pack. I got two Nalgene bottles. They're not filled, they're just kind of like taking up space right now. But two two uh, 32 ounce Nalgene bottles. Four masks, four charcoal uh, uh, filter masks with uh, the little hole in the front. You never know, might, need, might be a lot of dust or whatever in the air. Little mess kit. This has got a pan, a frying pan, bowl, a little plastic measuring cup bowl, plus another bowl so you can cook with. And I didn't want to go into detail about this crap, figured you guys could just look it up, but now I have to everything back together. Oh hell it for now. But yeah it's a little mess kit. Paracord. Come on, paracord. If you don't know what you could use paracord for, look it up. Diaper wipes. Why diaper wipes? Because you can wipe your ass with them and wipe your hands and everything else. I got this one with a little resealable lid on it. Two ponchos, two adult ponchos. These are from Hershey Park, but they're adult ponchos. My main fixed blade. This is the K bar fin with some, uh, what you call it, grip tape on the back of it from uh, just because I like that. Great sheath. Alright, some food. Got some zone parts here. They have protein in them and everything. Good stuff. I got two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight bars in here. This is like just rations you need for right now. Blankets to keep you warm. These are the soles. Emergency bivy blankets. I got two of them right here. But these are like sleeping bags. These are the uh, space blanket sleeping bags. So you can actually put yourself into a pocket. I got two of them. And then I got two of these. These are the regular ones. These are for four people. I have two people. As you can see right there. These are the space blankets, the mylar blankets made by Sol. I have you know, two of these. You can use those for shelter as well. Let's see here. Alright. Let's get into... Well, this is a two gallon water bag. So you can have portable water. You can carry water from you know a stream or a river back to your campsite or whatever. It's a two-gallon bag. It's good to have. I'm running out of room to put stuff on the ground here. This is a, a tree stand kit made by Gerber. It's got a... Uh, I have a little shovel in here. Foldable shovel.
got other stuff. Got a little, it's got a little wood sole in here. It takes too long to go through all this shit, guys. Got a little wood sole in here. My Kataline Vario water filtration system. And I got the extra filters to go with it. Uh, as you saw earlier. And then I can pull it out. I got more rations in here too for food. Now I picked these free dry, these freeze dried uh, mountain house foods because it's something I can stick in my pack and not have to worry about expiration dates for a long time. These are good to 2018. So I have at least three or four more years before I even need to start worrying about whether I need to change these out or not. But yeah, these are good long term. They take up space, but again, this is a three to seven day pack. But I got multiple tools of these. Another one. Another one, as you can see, I got, I have enough, I have enough of those in here uh, to last a few days between the zone bars and my mountain house foods. I have enough, you know, for a few days for, for a few people. Uh, but then, if you, then you get to your edible wild, uh, your, your, your wild edible plant book, and you can go ahead and just, people don't know it, but there's lots of plants on the side of the road that you can eat. Um, the next would be if you have to hunt for your, for your food, I would have firearms with me. I would have my 22, my 223556, my 9mm, my shotgun, etc., etc. You have to hunt for food, you have to hunt for food. But yeah, this is an emergency situation. You got water covered, you got fire covered, you got stove, your stove to cook with covered, you got some basic food to, to get you started covered, and you have medical covered, first aid covered. I'll go over a quick overview of this real quick, but you'll see. That's basically it. That's all I have in my pack. I'll lay, I'll lay all this out on the floor so you guys can see it up close before I let you go. Alright, here's everything laid out on the ground for you to see. All this goes inside that pack with still room to spare. The pack weighs about 25 pounds. Just a couple things I wanted to point out was I didn't have my leather, I didn't pull out my Leatherman Wave, my multi-tool out of that pack. I forgot about that, but I went in there and grabbed it. So I do have a multi-tool in that pack. The next would be, here's the tarp that I was talking about that I normally have in the middle of the pack. Um, so for shelter or whatever. I mean, I have other shelter between my bivvies and my uh, my big ass sole blankets over there. But uh, yeah, that's my, you know, there's a tarp. Also, here's the fuel source for that little orange stove I was talking about. I keep the fuel can separate. I am more than just two, but I just figured two would be sufficient for a pack. So those are a couple things I want to go over with real quick. And uh, here's everything. My knives and tools. Um, my axe. Flashlights. I've already gone over all, all of this, so you guys can just go ahead and see. Pause the video and say anything that you want to see up close. Now again, this is not a perfect pack. There's no such thing as a perfect pack. <clears throat> but for a three to seven day situation where you need to get the hell out of Dodge, this is sufficient. This is not including any firearms or... or um, or ammunition, but if you know my channel, you know I have firearms and I have plenty of that. So yeah, if I have to hunt or defend myself, I obviously can. Me or my family. That's it. All that goes inside that one pack. I think it's a pretty good pack. It's not the perfect pack. But it's my pack. Okay, so after thinking about it for a couple seconds, I just knew if I didn't go ahead and talk about the firearms at least, that uh, people would say, oh, you ain't got any, or blah, 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 some stupid type of comment, so I'm trying to avoid that, so I thought I'd go over some of the firearms I do have, I own, uh, 
I got my I got my handguns up here on top as you can see. Plenty of self defense slash hunting purposes for firearms. I got my, my, my shotguns and my rifles down here. I'm trying to show you this, but the best I can with the lighting I got inside my, my safe here. I got my, my shot my eight seventy uh rem uh Remington 870 shotgun 12 gauge, my 223 mini 14, uh, my 22 rifle in the back. Got nine millimeter and 22 rounds up here with my with my handguns. Uh, got plenty of ammo going on here. These are some of my shotgun rounds. This isn't even everything. This is just what I have stored inside my safe with my with my with my firearms. Uh, more shotgun rounds. This is my handgun rounds down here. Critical duties, Hornet A's, some Spear Gold Dots, Ranger, uh, Winchester Ranger T Series shit. Plus, I also have uh, in my little cases there. Down here, got uh, my 223556 ammo. The have your first, second, and third line of defense ammo. Have your primary, your secondary, and your Fuck, I'm out of ammo. I have to use this crap shit. Do what you can afford. Basically, that's what I got my ammo here for. Um, like, I got the Hornaday Tap over here. Uh, it's primary, my PPU. Match grade ammo is my secondary, then the Tula. You know, my third area. Also, I got some penetrator rounds back there and some, uh, some M8, M855 penetrator rounds. And it's even over here. I got my, my gold dots and my Hornaday ammo is my primary. Those Remington uh, back there is my secondary, you know, and at that I have my my spirit my my lawman as my full metal jacket. So whole oh shit, I ain't got nothing else left. Ammo, I got 22 rounds are back there, as you can see, I got plenty of 22 rounds, and then I also have my my bandolier shit down there. If you can't see it very well. I got my shotgun bandolier set up with a bunch of just random crap at the bottom of my safe down here. But yeah, just thought I'd talk about firearms and protection because I know some idiot's going to post a comment about something when it comes to that. So talk to you later. That's about it. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, and again, the whole video is about the bug out bag, the bag itself. You know, but I know I'm going to have to go into other content when it comes to it because people... I don't get some people on YouTube. Anyway... Enough rambling on. Talk to you guys later. See ya.